Bonjour, Monsieur, Madame. It is three o'clock in the afternoon and I'm still in the apartment. I'm a little bit exhausted. Yesterday when I walked around, I stepped wrong and I hurt my knee a little bit. And I don't really want to walk around too much. There's a lot of walking involved if you're here in Paris. But I kind of think if I should rent a bike, I should be okay. So today, I'm just going to explore Paris on a bicycle again. And I might go on one of those hop on, hop off bus and see everything from the second floor, riding on the bus. Like I said, I have nothing planned. If my knee hurts too much, I come back. I started editing a couple of videos but it takes a long time. And I don't wanna miss out on the beautiful weather here in Paris. How often you have the chance to come to Paris and do videos. So I have to take advantage of that. Having that said, thank you for joining my channel and let's go see what we can see. The really good thing is that I got the bike station right in front of my place. So I can take the tunnel right over there all the way to Paris city. Got this really long lock here. You can plug it in here. And off we go. I'm here at the Port de Cliché. And you don't really see too many homeless people in the city. But when you go a little bit like where I live right here, you can find some homeless outside on the main streets other than that i have not seen any in the city you see way more when you take the bike riding the bike feels much better on my knee beautiful gates to the park let's check it out what's in there they have another viewing area for the public here Man, this is so nice. It looks like you're in Hawaii. You got a little waterfall going on over there. And everywhere in the city, you see the French people hanging out on the grass and chilling. They got those drinking fountains everywhere here. Uh-oh, what did he do with this nice Porsche? And wherever I want to stop, I stop. I walk around a little bit on the Champs-Élysées and then I take another bike for another ride. You get like 10 rides for $30. So it's basically $3 a ride for half an hour. Not too bad. I've seen it so many times on this trip already, but it's always impressive when you look at it. And every time you look at it, you find more stuff to be amazed of. To see the city, you can use one of those hop on, hop off buses. Let's try to find the space upstairs. <laughs> to take this bus, it is $36 for 24 hours. So you can go anywhere, get out, get in see the city from the second floor of the bus should be good you got to do some touristy stuff sometimes GIV is taking the tourist bus Again, the Eiffel Tower. If you come here, you can see the celebrities arriving. The Four Season Hotel. Champs Elysees. Pigeons try to get some food here. 
whatever. A lot of people just get off the bus here because the Louvre is right there and there's some other museums, but I'm gonna stay on the bus. those little newsstands in the movies right next to the Seine they have like posters books and some kind of artwork here but I love it you can buy the Mona Lisa for nine nine and nine right here attention rien ne va plus we got the Notre Dame beautiful building we did the Seine tour the other day with the boat then we saw the building already but it is always beautiful to see it Right around Notre Dame, they got all those really nice little alleys where they have got some nice cute shops, cafes, it's nice. 50 euro, you can get an original painting. Look, they got the Beatles in Paris here. I wonder if they have something with Jim Morrison on it. make your name in the wire here. While I was working as an electronic electrician, I was always bending wires too, and I've done some names as well. I can bend your name in the wire too, if you want me to. Can you believe it? There are actually still people reading books. Look at this camera he has here. He's filming people right there at the church. Here I am at the Notre Dame church. They still restoring it, it's not open. Welcome to beautiful Paris, France. And you know who used to live right here? Quasimodo, the hunchback from Notre Dame. I'm here at the church and I'm gonna go and show you some other sites here in Paris, France. Stick around, you can learn something. I always try to give you my honest opinion. The bus tour, hop on, hop off. It's a good deal for $36. You get to see the city. It's kind of slow because traffic is so slow. You have to stop, go, stop, go. But you get a feeling for the city. So I really like this area. When I was driving, I looked around. I said, that's not too bad. Let's get out of here. So I'm walking around here a little bit. And then I get back on the bus. You get to see a lot. I must say it's really impressive when you see this in person but I think the church we have in Cologne, the Kölner Dome, is still more impressive than this one here. La crème de Paris, les petites pointes. The French really like the Nutella. Nutella tastes so good, but it's so much sugar in there. So much. How can you not enjoy sitting in a place like this here? Look at the small alleys here. Live music. Look at those little places here. Milkshakes, coffee, whatever you like. Holy moly, give us. Shaving it. Mm -mm -mm. Rue de la Bucheta. And another space invader. Should I get one of those? So many nice little clubs here. Look at this one, is a Tierra de la Hochete. I'm getting a gyro in this little place here. I sit on the street and check it out. It's a gyro sandwich with fries. And some tzatziki. I think here you can get some snails, the one Gogo has in his backyard. 
Le Grand Café Rouge. The Brazilians doing the street Opa. show here. Whoopa! Whoopa! Capovera. Hey, yo. I'm just surprised that I don't hear any French music in the background. You know what I mean. Rue des Petites Pointes. Gargoyles are scary looking here. Back on the bike again. La Policia. Looks like it's going to be a nice sunset tonight. Gendarmerie. I really recommend to do a tour on the Saint here. It's fun and you see a lot. It looks like they just put those statues up here just for the Olympics, but they look pretty cool. Colorful. Nice. A lot of streets are blocked off. I'm always on the go. I want to go here, I want to go here. When you're actually in France, all this slows down, you know, because it's like a totally different lifestyle than New York or Los Angeles. So people are just like chilling, sitting down, zipping on the tea, whatever, eating a baguette. But I'm getting used to this. So I'm, I'm a little chiller than before. This is the Muscle Beach of Paris, France here. All the youngsters work out here. Wow, check out this location where I am right now. Pretty cool, huh? You're probably thinking, what is this? There's people that have different interests. My friend Thomas, he's actually going to a soccer game right now. And I really like to do like little historic stuff, stuff that I'm interested in. You probably think, what is it? What's so special about this place? This is where they assembled the Statue of Liberty that's now standing in the harbor between New York and New Jersey. Right here, they assembled it and then they shipped it out to America. And you know me, I always like to show pictures to prove that this is the right location. Look at this photo matchup here. Wow. So the statue once was standing right here in Paris. I think it's pretty impressive. Not the best place to roll a blade on that copper stone. I must say, it's pretty cool riding your bike here. There's so many really cool spots where you can take pictures with the Eiffel Tower. I like this one, Jan. I like the blue, the green, looks nice. Like I said, a lot of locations where you can take pictures with the Eiffel Tower, but since I showed you where they assembled the Statue of Liberty, I wanted to show you this. What? There's another Statue of Liberty right here. And that's the exact replica of the big one. And it's standing right here. You can see the Statue of Liberty and the Eiffel Tower at the same time. I tried to get some better footage from the front. front so it's amazing. Are you kidding me? Lady Liberty right here in Paris, France. Holding up the torch. The cool thing is the bike path ends up here on the bridge and they have like a little, what do you call this? Like a little rail where you can push your bike up all the way to the top. There you have it, Lady Liberty and the Eiffel Tower. It's not a big enough zoom for me to zoom in really close, but at least we got both of them in one picture here. I mean, did you know that they had a Statue of Liberty here? I think they have five different ones, smaller ones in some of the parks too. I love it. 
There she is from the front. And I went to the one in New York before I climbed up all the way in the crown. And this is me and Gogo inside the Statue of Liberty, all the way in the crown. Lady Liberty, can you turn around and smile for a second? New York, New York, Paris, France. You know what? I really love to explore the city by just riding my bike. What? They have this really cool big Michael Jackson mural right here. Shout out to Hector Bayard and little Lil, I think. She told me as well, but Hector has been texting me. I wanted to meet him on this trip, but he's on vacation. Like most of the French people <laughs> take a vacation because the Olympic is in town. But I had to come here and check out this. This is a really good mural. I really like it, how colorful it is. Thank you, guys. Amour Gagnet, toujours. I really like the color orange and blue. And I think it's really cool that they have those murals in the alley. Especially Michael Jackson one. And then they got all those. Look at the little rabbit right there. And that's just the side street close to the Moulin Rouge. I love matching up those pictures. Keanu Reeves was standing right here. John Wick. And I wanted to stand exactly right there, but I asked a few people, but nobody can actually match up the pictures right there. They just don't see it. They cannot move the camera, so I'm in the right position. Makes me crazy. The two bad guys are standing right here, but this is where he killed over like 30 people just going up the stairs. He fell down the stairs, went up, fell down again. That was a crazy fighting scene here on those stairs. I really like coming here doing this. I wish I had a friend of mine with you who has the same interest because it takes a while to match up the pictures exactly. And of course it would be much better if I would have come here at night and match up the pictures. But Sakokur is kind of far away from where I live. Maybe I wait until later. Ah, those are the stairs. It's already hard walking up the stairs. Just imagine running up here, fighting 15 people. They hold you, they kick you, everything. Can't do it. That was definitely a really significant fighting scene right here on the stairs. I think they got the idea from the exorcist when they're fighting on the stairs. Kind of seemed like the same thing. And I'm chilling right here where they filmed it. So I love it, I'm loving it. You don't really have to walk up the stairs. I think they charge you though. You can go up in this little, what is it called? Train. It goes all the way up. What kind of criminals are they? 60 guys could not shoot one guy. Give me a gun, I'll show you how to do it. What kind of artwork is this? There's a picture of Audrey Hepburn you can match up right here in front of Sacre Coeur. Even though I was here a couple of days ago, I really like this spot because you got a really good view. They got nice restaurants around and they done a whole bunch of movies right here at this building but I did not have the time to prepare and get pictures out. But it's still good to be here. There comes the choo-choo train. If you don't want to walk up here. <laughs> really good viewpoint from up here. And like I said before, it's 
absolutely free. The city of love, you can tell by all the love logs they have everywhere here. Hundreds, no, thousands, no, millions. Bonjour, my friend. How you doing up there? Ah, not interested, okay. How is the dog park in France? No, oh. no. What? I didn't understand what he's saying. Not a bank ski, but still looking good. Sacre Coeur is right on the corner. And they got this little area where they got restaurants, souvenir stores. It looks really nice, like a little city here. I'm glad I came up here. That's actually how I pictured France. See all the little artists around selling their artwork. There's a guy who does characters. That is France to me. Art is in the eye of the beholder, I believe. Yo, Adrian. Characters, characters. Oh, another smart German fellow. His art looks pretty good, so Asterix and Obelix, we'll see how it's gonna come out. A real French artist is drawing the GIV. Yo, check this out, the GIV. I look skinny on real life, I think, but he, he did a good job. Looks really good. Thank you. Merci beaucoup, monsieur. Merci. Merci. Oh, they're making a fresh crepe right here with Nutella. Nice. This looks like a real person. I actually seen this artist in Los Angeles at the art convention. I love it. Everybody loves to sit in one of those little coffee shops or restaurants. What I don't like is the chairs are not really comfortable and then you have something here. This is not really stable. It's like shaking a lot. I don't really think it's comfortable sitting here. There we go. You're never too old to dance. There we go. I would love to dance with a young girl like this too, of course. And he's dancing to Elvis. Galerie de Art. It is one after another right here. Chiching, chiching. Even Taylor Swift is here in Paris. There's John Lennon right here. Kobe and Gigi, nice. The Asian artists are really, really good. I've seen those before. Never draw with charcoal. I get goosebumps. Wow. Wow, look at those paintings. Is that a photo or a painting? Can't even tell. Amy Winehouse, Michael Jackson, but who's the one on the left? Some are oil, some pastel, and some are acrylics. When you come to Paris, you get used to all this artwork on top of the buildings. A bear in a tutu. Crocodile or alligator made out of glass. We got another Smurf here. And a Python. Nice stencil art. <laughs> oh. 
Bunny, what are you gonna do with an AK? You're too cute. Looks just like it. This one is only three euros. It is raining, but it's all good because I'm here. I got a latte, but look how unstable the table is. What did I tell you? And the soccer is on right now. It's Spain is up two goals, three to one. Ice cold. With the French and the American colors. What is that supposed to mean? Eric Singer from Kiss in a bottle case? Le produit de la bagarre est pas trop. Je patine les chiquim barrelare. Corani Tessi Lamar. Oh la la, madame, monsieur. All the little goodies they have here. What? Strawberry Nutella. Look at this. They're eating here, they're eating here, buy the ice cream here. They're eating over here, eating over there, eating here, eating everywhere. And now I'm gonna go up this hill, a lot of walking again, but it looks like there's a windmill up there. What does her head say? Oopsie, I think she dropped her ice cream. Le Moline de la Galette restaurant. You can either explore by yourself or you take like a tour. Those guys here. Yeah, this is definitely Paris. Pink duck. Citroën, enter. He's representing right there. Even though I've done a tour of Sakoke already, I'm gonna take a little choo-choo train here. People love the air coming out of the underground. Off we go. Choo-choo! Oui, oui, monsieur. We are on the choo-choo train. Love, je t'aime. Pretty cool artwork. You see all the celebrities. And go to this side. Nice, huh? Well, my friends, that was it. Live here from Sacre Coeur from beautiful Paris, France. Another beautiful day comes to an end. Can't get any better than this. We haven't two rainbows. It was raining earlier really hard and now the sun is coming out again. I'm still here at Sacre Coeur. If you look around, look how green everything looks with the blue sky. Absolutely stunning. I've seen so much here in Paris, France. It's almost time to go home. We have one more day left. We'll see what I can do on that day. But you know what I haven't seen here? Normally when you think about Paris, you always think about poodle. I love dogs, but I have not seen a poodle. And I thought when you go to Paris, you see a lot of poodles. I have not seen one. Anyway, thank you so much for joining my trip here to Paris, France. 
I hopefully you enjoyed it as well. If you did, there's a thumb. You can push up. No, you can push it and thumbs up. Push the notification bell and subscribe to the German in Venice. I don't want to leave. I'm going to sit down somewhere right now and I'm going to enjoy the rainbow and maybe the sunset later on. Sacre Coeur was one of my favorite. Au revoir, bonjour, see you guys later. Tschüssing.